what you riding in? What kind of car you have, uh, Mr. Kane? I said, oh, I have a uh, 2002 uh, two-wheel Cadillac. I said, what? I said, what is that? I never saw one of those. I said, oh, you have? He said, oh, no, I never seen a two-wheel Cadillac. Where do you, where do you get those at? Where do you make them at? I said, you don't know what two-wheel Cadillac is? I said, no, man. I, said, I pulled my, my phone out of my pocket and, and showed him, you know. He said, oh, you talking about a bicycle. <laughs> I said, no, that's my two-wheel Cadillac. Things I used to do. Lord, I won't do. Music is what it is. See, music is, is actually just like a dose of doctor medicine. A person can be feeling real, real bad, and they hear them playing this particular song. And this particular song is in the lyric in this song. What they be saying, the same person that listened to that, the same one was feeling bad, have been and went down that same road, been and been through the same change. And then that takes the stress off of them and makes them feel good. I used to uh, build uh, all computers for the cars and uh, fix shortwave radios for the airplanes. And also I used to build alternators, generators, and starters. I used to do all of that. Hands is always fashioning our eyes. You did it so long, it's a taste system. You don't have to look at it. Your hands automatically do it. You feel, you know, you feel it. It's just like a brine man, you know. You feel it, and you feel it, you're done. Anything you come natural to you, that practice of perfect. And you do as a normal, and it comes a part of you. You don't have to look at it. Your hand automatically do it. Thank God, you know, for me to be able to use my hand. Cause that's the main thing, you know, that keeps me active. A lot of people ask me, a lot of the fans say, how do you pick your guitar like that? So I said, I guess I maybe got it from when I was picking cotton so much. I said, that was my first start off that built my fingers up from picking cotton. I said, that made them tough because cotton have buzz on it. When you first start, it stick all in your, underneath your fingernail and have your hands sore. And just like playing guitar, when you start, first start playing guitar, your hands be sore, sore until you play a long while and then you begin to get numb and build up calluses on the end of your pain. Then you don't feel the pain. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go. I love my little guitar, Ty. I wear that and so till I hate to pull it off, man. I didn't have many clothes, but I had, you know, like, I would have at least, you know, a couple of good suits, you know. And I would always, you know, would make my stuff match, you see. To dress with different colors, or lots of different colors, and dress neat, and come clean and everything, it makes you who you are. And when you dress neat, and dress presentable, and dress when everything matches, so it gives you the first class, you see. So it makes all the people and the fans and everything make them eyes you, you know, they eyes you, because they love what you're wearing and what you have on. And so that makes it better, you know, in show business. When I was much younger, I used to go to war all the time, you know, fighting, me and my girlfriend. This week I was in jail for fighting, when the police come the next week, we be fighting, then she go to jail. <laughs> Did we want to see each other? I didn't go see her when she was in jail, and when I be in jail, she didn't come see me. <laughs> and then I first got together, she came on the job while I was playing at the Golden Slipper. I said, you got a husband? She said, no, I don't have a husband. And my husband, me and him separated years, years ago. 
And so, and that was right down my alley. That's all I wanted to hear. So, I, so that that Friday night I played down there, and jumps in, she jumped, called the cab, and jumped in the cab about two thirty that morning. I run around the cab and jumped in the other side. Jumped in there, I said. She said, little old man, where you going? I said, I'm going to the same place you going. No, you ain't. You get out of this cab. You can't go with me. I said, you must have got a man that in, ain't you? I said, no, you got some man. I said, no, I ain't got none right now. I said, well, I'm going home with you. <laughs> I can be feeling bad, I can be hurting, or either I can get stressed out, you know, over something that I need to do and can't get to do. Well, I just grab Big Red up there and I'll sit down there on the sofa there and play it and start to sing it. Or either I play a different new sound and sit down there and write it down and get in the groove and just get to playing. A lot of time I get to playing and get to feeling so good I don't know what I'll be playing. But he'd be another dose of Dr. Medicine. I can be around here look like a freight train to run over me. And when I get out there on the gig and get started playing, I feel like I'm 13 years old. <laughs> Little Freddie King, y'all. Let's see one more time. Little Freddie King. I think that's mostly what keeps me going. It keeps me going. It actually is a dose of medicine. Retired two years ago, I had a strong thought, was, was thinking about dying that. I changed my mind. Been dying it all my life mostly, and it's just a part of it. And I just love it. If I'd come where I couldn't do it, then I guess I would go up and go bananas. <laughs> the talent God give me, and the job he give me, as long as I can do it, go ahead and do that job, you know use my talent. I just was to keep on pushing about here for the good Lord. You know, keep going. Keep going as long as the good Lord give me strength to move around. So that's the best policy that I see. Well, I want to know, baby, Yes, what you going to do? Well, I want to know, baby, what you going to do? 